President Donald Trump is planning a 4th of July celebration that he promises will be, quote, like no other, complete with military tanks, fighter jets and fireworks. Now, it was largely planned by the president himself, and instead of seeing red, white and blue, Critics are just seeing red right now. They are accusing Trump of turning a nonpartisan holiday into a political rally. Let's go to Washington right now. Arthi Pohl standing by live with more on this story. So, Arthi, nice to see you. Uh, tell us a bit more about what's being planned for this year's Independence uh, Day and how exactly it's breaking from tradition. Well, the U.S. President Donald Trump is right about one thing. It will be like no other celebration for July 4th, and that's because it is back to 1970 is the last time that we saw a U.S. president actually have an address that was broadcast at a July 4th celebration. So it will be different on that front, but it will also be different in the sense that there will be a bit of a military spectacle in terms of a grand military parade. Take a listen to what the U.S. president has in store for Independence Day. We're going to have a great 4th of July in Washington, D.C. It'll be like no other. It'll be special. And I hope a lot of people come. And it's going to be uh, about this country. And it's a salute to America. And I'm going to be here. And I'm going to say a few words. And we're going to have planes going overhead, the best fighter jets in the world, and other planes, too. And we're going to have some tanks stationed outside. Some tanks stationed outside. That is a fact. And they have actually arrived here in D.C. and they are being placed along the National Mall preparing for tomorrow's festivities. Now, there are some reports that, in fact, the U.S. president was inspired when he saw the Bastille Day celebrations in France back in 2017, shortly after his inauguration, that he decided he also wanted something similar. And so now he is uh, deploying essentially the military to be part of this parade. And certainly, as you've mentioned, there has been some criticism surrounding that, but also a lot of questions about the cost. Uh, a lot of the ministries that are involved, for example, have not given the exact number or dollar figure that they're talking about here. The Washington Post is uh, reporting, based on anonymous sources, that $2.5 million is what the National Park Service is diverting to put towards these additional parts of the celebration. Now, in addition also to the tanks and the flyovers, and in fact, a plane that serves as Air Force One will be part of that flyover, we know that the fireworks are being moved so that the U.S. president can speak in front of the Lincoln Memorial. And so Reagan uh, National Airport here uh, in Virginia, so just a little bit of a ways from D.C., in fact, they will be suspending their operations for as long as two hours so that there is, uh, they are uh, adhering to the airspace restrictions due to all of this, Michael. So obviously a lot of planning, a lot of uh, disruption as a result of what uh, the U.S. president wants to see on the ground tomorrow for Independence Day, July the 4th there. Uh, and to listen to Donald Trump, he says this really is nothing more than a celebration of American patriotism, but certainly his critics don't agree with that. No, they don't, Michael. And you heard him also in his rebranding of the event, calling it a salute to America. And critics are saying it seems more like a salute to Donald Trump, where he is able to display the military might and also uh, have a prime time slot in order to address the nation, where he will have a captive audience because hundreds of thousands of people come to the city in order to see those fireworks and take in the July 4th activity. So a lot of critics saying that it appears that Donald Trump is using this as a way to be the centerpiece for a holiday that is celebrated by many. Typically, this is a nonpartisan unifying event. You do not see the president typically speak at the 4th of July. And so, again, a lot of Democrats, for example, saying that he is using taxpayer dollars and a unifying event that is meant to be nonpartisan to sort of act as a campaign rally. In fact, a letter was signed by a number of Democrats, and we have just a portion of that to share with our viewers now of what they are in fact calling for and in that letter they say that the 4th of July celebration on the National Mall is about freedom democracy and the American people as a whole it is not about any one person in addition to drawing the administration's attention to the cost of resource impacts and logistical headaches this will cause we are respectfully asking the president to make himself part of this great celebration rather than attempting to make this great celebration about 
him. And so that is part of what we're hearing from the criticism. I also want to make a quick note in terms of demonstrations. There's at least one group who has their permit to protest and they will be bringing that baby Trump balloon that we've seen in London when Trump was over there for a visit and they intend to, while they can't fly it because of uh, airspace restrictions, they intend to bring it to the festivities at the National Mall, Michael. Okay, Arthi, thank you for that. Or Arthi Pohl in Washington.